30. We dropped Aiden off at school this morning at nine. We did two Uber Eats. Well, one Uber Eats, one Postmates. Um, we came home. Adrian's playing with his toys. The house looks a mess. I'm eating leftover Zaxby's for breakfast. A poster child for living a good, healthy life. Zaxby's for breakfast, sweet and spicy, boneless. Chicken and sweet and spicy sauce on top. French fries and some ranch. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So today, well, this week is going to be a long week. Brian is gone in the field all week. I think he's supposed to be coming home Friday. Like, at the earliest, I think it might be Thursday, but by Friday. And Aiden goes to school Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Speech Monday and Wednesday. And he has in home Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, and right now, the house looks like it got set ablaze. Somebody put the fire out, and we're just living like heathens at this point. The boys dumped all their toys out of their um, ball pit yesterday. So that's the thing, all their toys are scattered throughout the living room. Um, I have so many clothes to fold. So I'm thinking, and I gotta reclean the recording room. Um, what I'm thinking is today, what I'm gonna tackle is at least deep cleaning the living room and then the kitchen is pretty much clean i just have some stuff on the counter because i had to make aiden's lunch or whatever so i have to clean the counters off right now but um probably deep clean the living room try to get some of the stains up off the carpet that really is irrelevant because it's probably gonna be more stains on the carpet by tomorrow but i try to get some of the stains up off the carpet because i don't know it just makes me feel like i did something when i get a stain off the carpet but that's not here nor there my nails are still looking good. Shout out to April because she always comes through. Um, but yeah, pretty much today. It's a cleaning day. I gotta pick up Aiden at two. Me and the boys might do Uber Eats for like two hours after that. Mainly because two, around two is their nap time. So we do Uber Eats, they can sleep while do Uber Eats, they can be their nap when we get back in the house, they can do whatever. And you know, they'll get their nap in today. So we'll probably do that. But honestly, it's just gonna be like a clean in week. I did some content yesterday for our new scrunchies. For our website. The pitch came out so dope. I'm gonna put some on the screen so you guys can see they came out so freaking good. If it's one thing I'm gonna do, it's a concept, baby. If it's one thing I do, when it comes to a picture, I'm gonna take it. When it comes to a pose, I'm gonna do it, okay? So, I don't know if I'm gonna do a vlog every day. I might, I might do a vlog every day. I'm not sure. And just upload them that evening just so you guys can see what i'm doing the different days but since aiden has in home on tuesdays and thursdays i don't think i'm gonna vlog on his tech is here i find that's an amazing for privacy <laughs> But, yeah, I'm going to show you guys with the living room. Actually, I want to clean the bar, too. The bar always has so much stuff on it. I clean it, and then it gets right back dirty. I'm going to show you guys the living room. And look, look at my blinds. Look at my child. Look at my blinds. I dropped you guys. Yeah, these kids don't care about nothing. They don't care about nothing nice or nothing. Our blinds are fried. Okay, their room doesn't even have any blinds anymore. We lost a friend in battle. My nose ring. I'm not getting it re-pierced. I love my double piercings. But if I can't push a ring through it right now, it's just going to be closed forever because I'm not getting that shit re-pierced again. It hurts so bad. 
But, so yeah, I'm tackled the living room today and I was checking with you guys probably when I go pick up Aiden. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay. So I'm back. I forgot I had wanted to make some coffee. So I figured I would make some coffee with you guys. It's been a little bit since I came back. I finished my food and everything. But I wanted to make some coffee. I need to get some new coffee mugs. So if y'all know anybody that makes custom mugs, I don't need a custom mug, but like I want a custom mug. I don't really want to get it off of Vistaprint. So if y'all can find me somebody or y'all know somebody like y'all friend or something, a little small business action that makes custom coffee mugs, I would like to get a coffee mug with my logo on it and just something super pretty. Like, I don't know. But this one says, actually, I can. That's what this one says. Um, and it's pretty big. So put some water in it. I got instant coffee. I have to buy a new Keurig. If you guys would like to donate to my new Keurig um, fund, let me know. Comment down below. I love that. Um, we are taking donations. By we, I mean I. So I'm going to be taking this. Oh, I'm going to be making a Skinny Brew It Works coffee. For those of you that don't know, I was an It Works distributor. But then... I don't know i just felt like i had to go really hard to sell it works like i could just, and i need to put that energy into my business so i just was like you know what that's not for me kudos to everybody that can do it like but having to uh, message people on facebook and ask them to repost stuff for like a good one it was just too much out of me and i could just put the energy elsewhere which is what i'm doing into my business so but what i do like i do like the skinny brew coffee and i do like the sleepy time tea so i will just probably find somebody that distributes it now and so i can get some more of the sleepy time tea because that works really good for me and i don't take melatonin because i don't like it but i like tea so normally i do pretty good with tea but the skinny brew coffee comes in these little packs and Basically, anytime you're drinking like a skinny tea or skinny coffee or anything, the point of it is just to make you go to the bathroom. And coffee really honestly already makes me go to the bathroom. So the skinny brew coffee really just amps it up a notch. So I'll probably be like, another thing I have to do is honestly, it makes me want to start in the kitchen. I have to clean the burners out and um clean the microwave out because the microwave is dirty so i'm going to use one pack and one pack is enough for one cup obviously but to like just like crystal light is one pack is for one bottle or one cup of water or whatever even though with Crystal Light, I use multiple. I use one pack for more, like two bottles of water because I don't. I don't really like water. Thing. I mean, I don't like the Crystal Light to me is really strong. So I don't know. So I got that. I'm also gonna put some cream in it, and this is gonna make me go to the bathroom for real too because I am lactose intolerant. Sis is me, and me is lactose intolerant. But I'm gonna use it. So I got the pumpkin spice Starbucks creamer. Um, I don't have um, the non dairy. I try to get non dairy creamer because I don't put milk in my coffee. I try to get non dairy, but I don't have it right now. So I'm gonna take two scoops of sugar. Yeah, I make this like regular coffee. In case anyone was wondering, this is basically regular coffee to me. And it tastes pretty good too. Like, it don't give me Starbucks vibes. Wait, how does coffee cream that has what the fuck? Someone explain this to me. How does coffee cream that has like is dairy last so long? But milk doesn't last that long. Someone let me know. Because it's odd to me. Let's stir it up. Mm. I've never had 
never used it with this creamer. It's just. Mm, I've been needing coffee. I haven't had coffee in like three days. That doesn't sound like a lot, but I need coffee like every day. That shit tastes so good. <laughs> You guys, I can't wait to get my other wedding band. Have you guys ever seen my ring? She's pretty. And this is the uh, Ever Us stone. The Ever Us ring from the Ever Us collection at K. I think Zale, no. Zale or one of them other jewelry stores has the Ever Us collection and it's pretty much the same thing. But this is from K and it's the two stones. One for your best friend, one for your lover. That's what the like explanation is for like the two stones and then I have diamonds going around halfway on the band and I have the diamonds halfway on the band at the bottom as well so on the back it's something like that I love my I love my ring I do want I want to get him a new ring for our anniversary I was thinking to do that for a Christmas present I mean for a um birthday present but like guys aren't like that they don't really like shit like that so well, I don't know I'm not gonna say all guys but he doesn't care for shit like that like he's not he's like i don't I, I don't i don't know how to describe it but he's not like the he wants like i, I don't know how to describe it but on our anniversary i do want to get him a replacement um wedding ring his ring is really scraped up he's in the military you guys know that i was in the military i was in the navy he's still in the military but he was in the marines he's in the army now his ring is pretty much scraped up he's a truck driver in the army so his ring is pretty banged up and we've had it. It's our six year anniversary this year. We be, will be married for six years, December 21st. Like what? Um, so yeah, I think I wanna get him a replacement ring. I think. I think I'm gonna get him a replacement one for our anniversary. Our child's birthday, the little one, is the day before our anniversary no the day after our anniversary i went into labor for our anniversary um it'll be two on the 22nd and imagine me going into labor with the little one imagine me waking up on our anniversary thinking i was going to go to outback for dinner because that's what i requested i was nine months probably nine and a half months pregnant and i wanted fucking outback because outback is bae Imagine me waking up thinking I'm going to Outback that night for our anniversary, and then I wake up at 5 a.m. having contractions. I should have still fucking went to Outback. That's what the fuck I should have done. I should have still went to Outback and just been having contractions at Outback, because what the fuck are they going to tell me? I gotta go. Like, they gonna tell me I gotta go? I think the fuck not. I should have went to fucking Outback. What I did do when I went into labor was we went to get McDonald's. I was in the car, couldn't sit on my butt because if you've ever had a child and you start having contractions, you feel it from the root to the tutor, from your belly button to the middle of your back. Okay, them contractions kick your ass. And I was at home laboring for about nine hours. I started at like 5.30. We left to go to the hospital at like 2.30 about nine hours i'll say seven and a half eight hours at home before i actually would head to the hospital and by the time i was heading to the hospital my contractions were pretty intense because i've been having them for hours and hours and hours at that point my mother she was so fire in that car but i went to that mcdonald's i had my seatbelt on and i was like in the car holding my belly like lifting my butt off the seat so when i had the contraction i had no pressure on my butt like but I got that McChicken though. Yes, she did. I got that McChicken and that Coca-Cola. And that small frock. I still remember what I got. And she was torch. Because what I was going to do. I didn't have my child until 6.03 a.m. The 22nd of December, 2019. Okay? I, I actually got into, like, once they actually admitted me into the hospital, it was like 8 p.m. I was hungry and mind you the last time i ate was at 2 30 when i went to mcdonald's i was starving but i'm literally just rambling i'm a psycho um i'll check with you guys 
later for real like i'm not gonna be in this kitchen next time i see you guys i swear i swear outside the playground right now and adrian is not happy being on the swing but aiden is loving it swing swing Having fun? <laughs> yeah, Adrian's pissed off. Like, it's so bright out here. It feels really good. So this jean jacket, I'm kind of hot and I got boots on, so. He's pretty pissed off to say the least but i thought i'd bring him out here for a little bit because when we go back inside we're just gonna be inside so well i took him out well we went to do an order when i picked aiden up i picked aiden up at two we did one uber eats we sat for like 15 minutes 20 minutes to wait for another order but we didn't end up getting one so we're home now but we're home now so playground for like a couple minutes adrian's not happy so it'll probably be less than a couple minutes but yeah i said i would check in with you guys when i got aiden so i got him you want to get pushed again push push And the playground's right across from our apartment building, so that's our apartment building right there. So it's pretty, it's, it's close. And I figure it's about to get cold outside, so why not bring them outside to the park? Only one of them is enjoying themselves, but whatever, Aiden's having fun, so. Adrian never has fun doing anything, nobody else has fun, any fun doing. You wanna push? <laughs> All right. But yeah, I guess I'll close out the vlog no i won't close it out i'll call see you guys in a little bit probably later when it's time for dinner but i'll see you guys then push good job push him again you gotta go to the back yeah i let adrian off because i don't he was not happy you want to get push want to push all right Adrian, watch out. Okay. <laughs> you did it. You push? You just don't want to be on? Whoa. Yeah, he just didn't want to be on it. You having fun, Bubba? Yeah. Push. Good job. Boy, get out the way. <laughs> Why are y'all like this? You just wanted to run around? No, don't go nowhere. Stay over here. Done? You got your Crocs? Why are your pants wet? You didn't even pee. I just changed your diaper. Don't go nowhere. Want push? You want push? Say push. Push, please. You ready? You ready? Ready? Set. <laughs> Your shoe coming off. Oh no. Your shoes. Get down, little boy. Adrian.
You want to slide? Okay, let mommy help. Come on. Ugh. All right, you ready? One, two, no. Any help? Is it help? All right, be careful. Go, be careful. Bye, baby. Watch out, Aiden. He about to slide. Watch out. Whoa. Say ouch. Aiden, watch out. Come on. Come this way. No, come this way. Come over the side. Bye bye. Pay attention. Be careful. Come on, one, two, three, slide. Whoa. Pay attention to what you're doing, Adrian. Careful. Come on, careful. Good job.